just for um, just a just a few minutes, uh, if you will, uh, turn with me uh, to the Gospel of John. Uh, and we invite your attention to John uh, chapter twenty. Jesus overcome this problem. 
Now, you know the answer to this. You know the answer. But now, just think about this thing. You got a problem, right? You have your problems, right? Bad problems. But now, if anybody in this room have a problem versus Jesus, then you need to go to church and say, because tip on my head, right? Because I guarantee you, no, no matter how bad your problem is, it wasn't first to Jesus' problem right. on Easter morning. Right. And we know the end of the story, thank you, because on Easter morning, and as the old people say, I wish I could have a picture like that. Should I try? Number 
doing what? Why are we not doing it? Mm. Why are we not doing it? Well, I submit to you that he was afraid. Yeah. He right. was afraid. He was afraid. See, many of us can't grasp on to the power of the resurrection. Many of us can't grab on to all that Jesus has for us because we are afraid. Yeah. We're afraid what we don't find in the tomb. Jesus 
goes on the third day. You, you read the Bible. You went to Sunday school. You, you did all those things all your life. But I want you to ask yourself this question. Have you gone in the tunnel? Right. Are you all in? Are you all in? How much more evidence do you need? Right. Let me see a show again. I want to a little bit of How many of y'all have read at least 10 books of the Bible? God, look at all that Bible knowledge. How many of y'all went to Sunday school when you were kids? How many of y'all went to Sunday school now? <laughs> But you know what? 
the, the thing I love about Jesus is, remember I told you that was his girl? Even though she couldn't go in, he never gave up. It says, verse 12, and she saw two angels uh, in white sitting, one on the head, one at the head, and the other at the feet, the body of Jesus had lain. Yes, then they said to her, woman, why are you crying? Here we go again. Now, you got, now, now here's one of those miracles that they never get talked about. Now remember, James and John went into the tomb, right? James and John comes out of the tomb. Mary still at the entrance of the tomb, and she looks in, and guess what? Two angels were sitting there. Two angels were sitting there. So where did they come from? They had walked past her. So God was trying to get her. He was reaching out to her so hard that when she looked in, it wasn't just the evidence that Peter had saw, but he had two angels right on her. Right. See, here's what I like about the Lord. No matter how far we are, no matter how far we got out there, He wants us. He loves us. Yes. And so He was doing everything in His power right. to get her past her emotions. Right. And the angels asked her, Two of them. Oh, He was going after her heart, wasn't right? He says, Why are you crying? But that was her response. She still didn't get it. It says, she said to them, because they have taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they made him. That's not the answer. The answer is what? He was resurrected. So guess what? She still don't get it. Still don't get it. She was the first one to see the, uh, the, the other of the resurrection, right? She came back. She looks at the tomb. He had not one angel, but two angels there to show her that Jesus had been resurrected from the dead. Yeah. And what did she say? I don't know what that means. Yeah. She still didn't get it. She still didn't get it. Oh, God loves us. Yes, he does. He loves us. He loves us. So guess what happens to It says, then uh, when she said, verse 14, now when she said this, oh, this is, this is what you want to shout about. She turned around and saw Jesus standing there, Jesus Christ himself. But she didn't know who he was. And Jesus said to her, one more time, by these emotions, right? Woman! Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Everything, everything you need to get past your tears are right there. Why are you crying? Listen, Jesus loved us so much. She, she, she missed the elders. She missed the angels. And he loved us so much that he came at her person. Right. right. See, I think when, when, when the devil hit her, has hurt us the most. You know, some of us, you know, some things happened to us that we had no control over. Amen? Amen. 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 You don't get to pick your parents. You don't get to pick where you grew up. You don't get to pick any of that stuff. And so sometimes stuff happened to us that we had no control over us. But this is what I love. No matter how bad we got out there, Jesus will come out of us. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, he kept on coming out. He kept on coming out. He didn't give up. Now, guess what she said? Look at what the scripture said. She supposed him to be a god.
I'm sorry, I got a little excited. Come on. <laughs>
Thank you. That's awesome.